Good evening guys, it's time for some more Battle Pope. I'd like to jump right into it, but uh, last session was a little late, so if you weren't able to get that, let's have a quick rundown of what happened to France. And yeah, what didn't happen to France? We destroyed all of France's army, and we occupied them, and we tanked 20 war exhaustion just so that they would fall apart. The idea was to deny France ever having a port ever again. We almost succeeded. But uh, French land is very expensive, so... We were able to have Toulouse and Foix break out of them. We took Poitou for ourselves. Brittany is still under uh, France's uh, control, but only for now. Hopefully Normandy will break away. It shouldn't be too long before they do. Uh, these rebels are probably untouchable. Uh, but Holland. Holland is the real thorn. And the reason I know it's a thorn is because... I'm fairly certain that is a Frenchman there. You can tell because he doesn't put much uh, power into his swing. So, looks like war with France again is inevitable. Let's jump right into it. So the big exciting war is already over, but there's uh, a lot of cleanup that needs to be done and a lot of wars that need to be uh, launched in very quick succession. So, first things right off the bat is we want to make sure that the Commonwealth are called in. Uh, yeah, our uh, our alliance there is a little, uh, little unsteady, shall we say. And yeah, forget about improving relations with Aragon. They're going to have to go. They're already in the coalition against us, but we shall... Uh, we shall deal with that in due time. What else do I want to do? Ferrara are not in the coalition against us, but they are quite ambitious. We're going to have to put them in their place, so let, let's reclaim Ferrara. Not even sure if that mission's worthwhile. It gives us a claim on Ferrara's capital, but not on Mantua, so we may just have to... Uh, chew them out using our religious casus belli, which we now have thanks to religious ideas. Deus fault. Probably won't flesh out the rest of it for a while because we are hemorrhaging admin points at, uh, at the moment. We can't even afford to core Picardy. Mm. Yeah, we're soon to have the revolt risk from intolerance. So we're no doubt going to have to deal with some more rebs. Uh, but what can we do? Well, what I can do is get some more boats on the go. We'll call it the cog wall. Because you can just never have too many. Yeah, Brutzi's probably not the best place to be recruiting those boats. 15, that'll take us to just shy of force limit, so that's fine. And at the end of the last session, we declared war in Norway. They have got to go. Because they're colonizing. We can't have them colonizing whilst they're Christian. We will annex them and spit them out. Because we certainly don't have the admin points to take care of them. Through coring, especially since they have local nobility. So we'll get there and burn it down. Otherwise, let's see. Boats are on the move. These are not, uh, not enough transports. But they will have to do. And yeah, you folks can get up there and just ensure that the Norwegians and the Danish don't throw anything into our plans. The Ottomans don't want to join in because it's distant and Bohemia probably won't be our friend for much longer but it's good to have the Emperor on our side for as long as he remains Emperor. Hopefully the Empire will just disband due to the uh, the Protestant League doing crazy things. But I do not want to get involved in that. It'll tie me into wars when I have other ambitions to be dealing with. France won't collapse because, unfortunately, they have 12 unoccupied and 12 occupied provinces. But yeah, them going for the Turks' islands means we're definitely going to have to go to war again. Thankfully, they are jolly good friends with Aragon, heck, and Tuscany, so I can take my pick of uh, France's guys that I want to pick on. Hello, aristocrat. Jake, knock down Sicily. Yeah, Sicily will be vassalized, but I can't declare war right now because I just declared another one. So, what more is there to do? Let's get into it and destroy Norway. Sounds like my kind of thing. As I said before, lots of wars to declare in a short amount of time. I'll deal with Orkney right off the bat. Yep, Sweden, Tyrone, Tuscany, but I don't think they're going to declare war on me, because unlike last time, I actually do have plenty of units ready for this. 
Oh, we have got a lot of mercs, and they're costing us tons of money. Thankfully, we have tons of money. Pay no attention to the display bug there. It's uh, not actually the amount of money that I'm making. All right, so if we have these folks, we can have one... Let's see, I'm pretty sure all their units are going to be over here. One, two, three, four... Not including that, so four places that we need to drop troops off. And four times three is half of this. Uh, a little annoying how this doesn't drop all the way down like it used to. What's worse is that sometimes you can't click on the area here because it's blocked. But what are you going to do? All, all attached to boats. And we'll just get them going out separately because I'm fairly certain the Norwegian fleet is nothing to worry about. And if it is, well, more fool me. And I know that Norwegians do not have many men. Four, five, six, seven thousand. So we can take them on with... Yeah, like 12,000 that remain. Probably not the best idea to have those guys without a little bit of additional uh, help from the cavalry. Sorted. Heck, I'll even throw in a cannon because I'm that generous. You get on the last remaining boat and head over to there for starters. Because I would feel a little more confident if we had our galley swarm to help us out there. Yeah, this should not prove uh, difficult in the slightest. Theologian for unrest as well. This is coming up Thrill House. Once our boats are done there, we can use them to go and fight the Sicilians. Friesland, I don't like this. Orkney involved in another war, which is going to prevent me from annexing them. Well, nothing preventing me from burning them. Oh, that's a problem. If Sicily are in the coalition, uh, yeah, I won't be able to just easily vassalize them. Uh, that was my mistake. Oh, and I don't have Cassus on them. Yeah, it's all coming apart already. Well, typical blunders for me. Can't uh, can't go crying about it. I still do want an OPM that I can uh, annex and release, though. Unfortunately. I've made quite a bad boy of myself. There is indeed Corsica, but they're allied with Milan and Savoy, which are a couple of heavy hitters that I don't want to be getting involved with. And we have to worry about Defender of the Faith mechanics too. Should have thought ahead about some of these things, but I didn't. Alright, well there is of course Friesland, and that will be useful since... Look at that. I'll be f wanting to fight them here anyway. Hmm. Allied with Brandenburg and Oldenburg. How else can I go about acquiring a one province minor vassal? Timbuktu is doing well for themselves, so I'm glad to see that. Jake Slayer of me trying to motivate myself to study. Go and study, man. Hmm. Well, there is Venice. Nah, they coalition me. Allied with the knights and... Uh, don't have a free pass to go and stomp on the knights, unfortunately. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, it's not like I can uh, throw down a colony over here, forge a claim there, and be done that way either. I still have to deal with these Portuguese patriots too, which probably just want to defect my vassal. But we still uh, don't want to give them a free pass. Oh, that's the wrong troops to be throwing over there. You know, you folks need to go over to the mainland. Got another claim on France, and this one's for Holland. That's one that we're going to want to keep because I do want to take Holland for myself. Yeah, fighting you is probably more hassle than it's worth. Uh, yeah, considering all those people that we're going to have to fight. On the other hand, what is this war that uh, you're involved in here? The Danish reconquest of Lond. So yeah, you're fighting Pomerania. You've already uh, you've already got it. You just need to wait to get it. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about Friesland occupying this for too uh, too badly. The alternative is that I could get Sicily out of this coalition. Could bring them up. Yeah, that actually seems like a better idea. We'll get their relations up as fast as we can. Yeah, Liguria hate our guts too much. Jake, you used Tyrone there in the coalition against us, and they hate our guts even more. Could do the whole 100% the coalition by fighting an OPM thing. But that'll give me a truce with quite a few people that I don't want a lengthy truce with. and mountains here, so this works out great. I fear not. Although I really should have brought a leader with me. Nah, I think I can have confidence in my fighting forces. Yeah, Corsica's in the... No, Corsica's not in the coalition with us, but again, we are looking at fighting some people that I don't want to be fighting right about now, if I were to do that. Ah, ah, right, there's a thing. I can go for Ferrara. That would bring in Genoa. Yeah, then I could, uh, could deal with Genoa. No, you know what? I think we'll stick to the Sicily plan. We'll get them to like us pretty quickly. And we can speed up that process with a little gift. Alright, this looks all very promising. Bolton Patriots are going to rise up. Yeah, I want to fight a lot of wars here, but it's not going to go too well, I don't think. Ah, well. Let's just go for it. Wow, that's some awful morale you have. Pretty horrible attrition that we're chewing on, but what are you gonna do? Throw away what troops we can afford to, and the rest go and chase them down. Ah, I forgot about you. That's a shame. I wonder if uh, Norway's going to try and colonize anything else here. At least we got this one guy here, and really one's all you need. Actually, we can replace him with you. There we go. We don't need someone on the cape. We will eventually deal with those African rebels. African 
Portuguese reps. Jake, how is Russia doing with their colonies? Seems they're having a little trouble holding on to it. In fact, I can't believe they're struggling with Siberia Kazan and Nagai. I mean, even the Golden Horde took this massive chunk out of them. At this rate, I might not even have to deal with Muscovy myself. Our good Sunni friends across the world will do it for us. Alright, Aragon's in that coalition against us as well. We need to defuse the coalition. Malta. I'm right clicking on them, but uh, it takes a while to bring this up. I'm actually considering getting an alliance with them just to pull them out of this, and I rather think I'll be able to get it. They'll stop being outraged, I'll get an alliance to pull them out of the coalition, and then I will go and vassalize them, and then I'll get rid of all my aggressive expansion. Oh damn, France is uh, taking on these rebs. Ah, but this is good. Nevers broke through, and so did Flanders. So all they really have there is Holland now. Mm, nah, the good money's on France. Nevers. It's not something you see every day with their generic national ideas. Tons of cores, and what ideas do they even take? Defensive trade religious, much like all the French miners. Pretty cool, though. I'm liking that religious because it's allowing these guys to convert on the double. I'm really stretching my resources here, perhaps more than I should be. Perhaps considerably more than I should be. Let's leave you behind so that Norway has no way to retreat to. And hopefully that'll be the last we have to deal with his armies. Not bringing a general here is really hurting. Come on. Oh, I'm even getting insufficient support now. Okay, that's good. That won't be a stack wipe for me. It'll be a stack wipe for him. Thankfully. We'll just leave you to siege it up. And the rest of you take care of that. Rest, man. Alright, so with that, I'm going to pull back all the boats and let's deal with those African scum. Not that they're anywhere close to getting that done. Alright, goodbye, Norway. Don't think I have to worry much about Denmark. Trouble is, though, unless I get Denmark out of this war, we're looking at a uh, five year wait. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Denmark, didn't I? I won't be able to get an alliance with Sicily whilst this is going on. Hmm. My good friend Burgundy. Oh well, good thing we have all these boats and all these men. Let's just make sure that we're not going to be seeing any, uh... Oh, this is nice. Commonwealth over there to take care of the Danish. Well, let's keep our boats over there to prevent them from getting in our way. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to get those lands back. I'm still going to have to fight France again, though. Flanders took that. Stupid, sexy Flanders. Now I really want my Pope dead, even if it costs me a stab hit. So I'm only too happy to send him over there to fight the Burgundians.
Okay. You want me to help you fight the Mamluks? Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't want to be involved in a war right about now. I'll probably accept, but uh, separate piece them out. do really want Jerusalem for myself, but it would be more fun if I have to struggle with the Ottomans to take it off of them, I think. Yeah, the Ottomans are going to be going for their claims. Alright, yeah, I got no problem with uh, joining in there, but the Mamluks won't last long. Denmark out of this war would be another boon, and they are pretty close to wanting out anyway. Jake, are you calling Calais in nearby provinces? Just checking. There's one I've been waiting on for enough admin points, and there we go. But. Mm, mm, it's really expensive. Maybe I could just convert it and give it to Toulouse instead. I mean, it's really expensive. Ah, let's just let's just do it. it. Gives us more control over the English Channel. That's not too bad. I've made less money in trades in late games. This is disgusting. Those Turks Islands. I bet that's going to grow really rather quickly. Disgusting. Farewell, Burgundy. This is my land, and no one can take it. We did well to get uh, access all the way here, though. Of course, I can't chase him. I'm not any uh, particularly HRE war here. <laughs> Palatinate's now Emperor. Uh... Let's hope something also goes horribly wrong with the uh, the wars here, so that we can have a freely dismantled HRE. It'll make life a lot easier for us. And yeah, it's high time we took care of these disgusting African rebs. Uh, that's that's horrible. They got their um, they got their coastline back. I'm going to have to war go to war with France to. Uh, the Norman provinces alone are super expensive. And he's got a huge army again already. Well, for example, if I fought you now, would France join in? Yes. France have a good level of trust. So that's what we'll be doing. We have too long our truce with France to wait around to fight them directly could break truce, but when we've got Aragon right here, who's willing to uh, allow us to fight them, why uh, why not? We shall do that. Cosmopolitans are very ready, uh, very eager to be rising up. They're very eager indeed. Well, again, we'll just take our boats over and deal with them. There's no hurry. And it's good, I've only sent uh, mercenaries to their death up in the cold north. It's not even worth spending all that uh, military points, it's just extremely expensive. Probably land here and then march over, it'll prevent us getting the, uh, the penalty. Nice, Abruzzi down. And we can get Denmark out with a... Well, they want to concede defeat to us. I would rather have a few ducats. Maybe a few more ducats. Hmm. Danish. Hanoverian. Holstein. What is Holstein's... Um, primary culture? Are they Hanoverian or are they Danish? 
I think they're Hanoverian, aren't they? Ah, this is good. The war's over there, so I'm free to annex. Uh, annex you when this is all said and done. Of course, then there's the issue of Burgundy, who really don't want out. <laughs> I can't, uh, can't get the Danish trade power that easily. Oh, I could. Get the Danish trade power and give it to... Uh, give it to Burgundy. Get them both out of all this. Yeah, sounds great. Speed up the uh, the war process massively. Thanks a bunch, but I'll do this, and I might even give it to three different people here, because I can do. Uh, Oh, that's handy if you rise up there. It's easier to get to. What isn't so handy is that... Uh... Oh, no, I have a general there. And much better morale. Yeah, we'll slaughter you. So we can get Burgundy and out of the Mamluks as well. Because, yeah, I'm already done with these Mamluks. have to wait a couple of days to get both our diplomats free. But, yeah. It's been fun, but how about you have some Danish trade power? Don't want to hang on to it, it's just weighing me down. Everybody's getting the Danes money. And with that, I have only a couple more sieges to do. Good old Galicia helping us out with this. Rather, he wasn't attaching to us, but I guess he is helping us out. And once this war is over, we'll start integrating Northumberland, expensive though it may be. Very expensive that it's going to be. And set our sights on others. Oh, this isn't so good to lose. Save me in my hour of need. Nail. Yeah, my uh, general died fighting those rebs. Well, what can you do? Plan a war with France, that's what you can do. Alright, so we can almost get our alliance with Sicily. They don't want anything else. But, oh jeez, we don't have a claim, do we? Get that claim going and pray that we don't get caught. Because if we get caught, they'll hate us. Eh? I don't even know where that is. Well, that's not a good way to lose most of your galleys. Okay, thank it looks like we only lost one. Let's get you repaired up immediately. Just get you one tick there and then send you to London. Come on, kill my Pope. Leave behind 1,000 tertians, the rest of you just go home, we have uh, yet.